Splendid week, past tense, because I guess this comes out next Sunday. Did you upload yesterday? I did upload ah, yesterday. Say less, I have to go watch. The juicing clip is in there. This feels Yay. like a little episode now that we're it's continuing. We do a little weekly juice. I have to go to the grocery store. I can send, get something for a juice. Can, yeah, just send like Rex. Maybe I'll add some like ginger, something spicy. Ooh. Maybe you guys can have some too. Maybe Mia can do a juice giveaway. A juice giveaway? <laughs> yeah. We stand outside the apartment giving out fresh juice that yeah, Caitlin did 100%. herself. Yeah. For Bring the, your own cup. BYOC. BYOC. BYO vegetables too. I am about to go to Soul Cycle. It's a themed one with some, I don't even know who's in it. I think like Kesha, but let's go cycle away. <laughs> Monday. Welcome to another week in my life. Mondays, I only have my nighttime psychology class. Mondays have been a little weird so far, trying to figure out a routine. This morning, I went to Soul Cycle. I am doing this offer that they have where it's like $50 for two weeks of unlimited classes. So that's kind of what I've been doing right now. But I got back from that and then called Tara and it turned into like me finally though, like booking all of my spring break trip tickets, which is so much fun. Tara's in Madrid for the whole school year because of her major. And so she has an apartment there now and I'm gonna go visit her. I'm so excited. I have never actually been to Spain and I'm gonna do some traveling, but yeah, that's to come in the future. Someone commented on my last video and they were like, I'm gonna miss Tara in the vlog so much. Like girl, you and me both just still gone. She's still not back in New York. So that's what's happening. Anyways, had Soul Cycle, came back and then booked those tickets. And then I've literally just been inside all day doing so much work. I have to finish reading this feature film screenplay for my directing class on Wednesday, which I'll probably finish tonight. I have like 30, 20 more pages and working on my film for my intermediate class and all the pre-production stuff. So I'm probably gonna start doing that. I just showered, I'm doing laundry now and the dishwasher's running. It's giving productive at home morning, but I have my nighttime lecture in a few hours. We'll have to go for that. But my first week in my life back to classes, if you guys saw that was a little bit chaotic, I actually got really sick last week. Today is one of the first days that I feel normal again. My best friend from high school, Sayla, came to visit me this past weekend and it was so much fun. Haven't seen her in like two years. I feel like this week we're just getting back on top of everything and figuring out work and also this intermediate project because I have so much pre-production to do. I think I'm getting close finally to final locked draft of my screenplay, which is really exciting. So I can start sending it to everyone and planning. Wanted to bring you guys along and I'm gonna try and show you more of my film stuff that I'm doing this week. I really don't dress up on Mondays just because I only have one class. This is our comfy fit tonight. These pants are from Uniqlo and then this is my dad's old polo sweater. Nothing crazy. These two, hard at work. Anyways, I'm gonna set up and do some more work. After doing work for a few hours, I went to my psychology class about love. It's like almost three hours long, so random, but such a fun lecture. And then I came home and I actually came back to a package. It was one of my books for that class, which I've been waiting on forever. So now I can finally start reading that. Good morning, happy Tuesday. It's 8 22 a.m makeup done ready to go okay i thrifted the sweater the other day at buffalo exchange i wore it yesterday to soul cycle just to see if i liked it so last night i washed it and i cut the top off are we surprised no but for some reason i didn't pack any off the shoulder tops this time i came to new york which i don't know why because like you know i can't live without that so i finally have one back this is the outfit today it's princess polly pants and then this sweater that i've now cut which honestly the brand was just 
delicious Target. Kind of ate, I love it. Last night I came back from my lecture, <laughs> I ate ice cream, and then I ended up staying up so late doing work in my bed, which I used to have a really bad habit of like staying up until 1 a.m. doing work every single night sophomore year, so I'm trying not to bring that back, but the grind never stops, I guess. I'm gonna go make breakfast, make some coffee, then we are off to my intermediate narrative filmmaking class. <laughs> Tuesday at Tish, we got our first aid safety kits to bring onto set and then Colby swiped us in for lunch again. She's literally like our mother. And I met another subscriber. Subscribe to Mia immediately. Thank you. Oh my <laughs> 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 She was so sweet and so funny and honestly after being away for so long coming back I've been getting to meet so many of you guys who watch my videos and it's been so fun and also so funny because I edit these videos alone and make them alone and I forget that like real people watch them but <laughs> it's so nice to run into everyone on campus. Anyways came back home last night worked on my lookbook for a very long time and then Wednesday morning rolled around I ended up just putting the dishes away really quick and then doing some work. Today I have another long day of classes but it's split up between my directing and screen writing class so I get a little bit of a break in between but did the dishes had breakfast and then did a little bit of work before I had to leave Wednesday. It's 12.32. I just got back from my directing class this morning. I have a little bit of a break, so I'm gonna eat lunch and then do some more work on my lookbook for my intermediate film. And then I have my screenwriting class, which basically, I don't know if I talked about it in the last vlog or two, but this screenwriting class I'm taking, it's called Developing the Screenplay. And so my sophomore spring, before I went abroad, I took Preparing the Screenplay. So it's kind of like a two-part. You usually end up taking both classes. Classes. But essentially, back in sophomore year, I spent the first half of this class preparing a treatment for a feature film. It's like the first feature film I've ever written, like ever. It's honestly so hard and such an interesting experience. But this class is taking that idea and actually writing it and putting it into pages and starting to work through that. I have that later. Today, I think I'm going to be pitching my treatment to the class. Now, the people in my class were in my first screenwriting class, so everyone's been pitching. I was sick last week, so I couldn't go to the first half of the pitches but i'm gonna be pitching mine today but yeah that's kind of the plan and i think and, and i also forgot to vlog last night caitlin and i went to go see poor things such a weird film emma stone so amazing in it it was just like such a fun movie loved it i'm so glad i finally got to see it the theater was also packed and it was a random tuesday night but i'm trying my best to see how many oscar nominated films i can see before the oscars actually happens so i still have a lot to go but that's kind of where we're at right now. I'm gonna try and see if I can get anything done before the second class of the day. I cannot even lie to you. I got dragged in the screenwriting class when I presented. I had so many notes, which honestly were so helpful from my teacher and my classmates, but very humbling experience. This was like this drawing exercise I had to do for my directing class that morning, but I came back and just had a really chill night. I basically sat in bed and did a lot of readings for class and other homework and then went to bed. <laughs> Happy Thursday. Today is my last day of classes for the week. I am unironically so obsessed with Ava Jules. I literally love her videos. Weirdly enough, when I'm not in school, I fall off of watching YouTube just because during the school year, YouTube is so fun to just put on in between doing work or like a quick meal. But I've gotten to the point where I've watched all of her recent videos. So I'm like watching her summer videos now. And those are just the vibes for today. I'm gonna pack up my glasses and charger and everything because I'm gonna try and go to the library when I get out of class at 5 p.m today but i ordered Coraline the book from the new york public library i was getting it delivered to a library closer to me and so it took a few days but i finally got the email last night it's here so i'm gonna go pick up Coraline. i wanted to get a book because i have so many readings for classes that just kind of like make me not want to read sometimes and i haven't read a book for fun since winter break so i figured i should get one 
just to read at night or something so that maybe it'll also help me stay on top of my school readings if I also have something fun to read after. So yeah, I'm gonna pick up Coraline today, but right now I'm gonna go meet with Haley at Tish. She's gonna be my DP for my film, so we're gonna just talk about the shots and the style, and then my crew has a meeting with my professor, and we'll have lunch, and then we have a camera tech later tonight and I'm bringing snacks for the library. Also, here's the outfit today. I got this sweater at like a Ralph Lauren outlet store in San Diego, and this is my first time wearing it. So simple and sweet. Okay, let's go to Tish. Since we didn't have our meeting with our professor until like 10.30, we had the first hour to kind of show up later and then work on our own personal meetings with each other. So got that done, met with Haley, and then I met another sweet, sweet subscriber. She's also in film, so slay. We got our lunch. Colby swiped us again, so generous. And then we went back to Tish because we had this camera lecture, which lasted a couple hours. Our instructor was so lit and she let us out early. So I went to the library and picked up Coraline. And then you already know, like just did work that night. Friday. I am absolutely 100% rewearing the sweatshirt today because it's so comfortable and it's like when you get something new You just kind of have to cycle through it a couple of times get it out So today I don't have classes, but it's also a really busy film day So I kind of feel like my head is gonna explode but this morning I got to see Ella. I literally haven't seen her since last May and it was so much fun. I love that girl. We went to Abreka, which is a new coffee shop, if I'm saying that right, or hopefully that she recommended. It was so busy, honestly, but it's so cute. And I actually ran into my <laughs> film professor there. She was getting coffee to meet someone too. So we said hi. And so in like 10, 20 minutes, I actually have to go to Port Authority because I am the production designer for someone in my crew's short film that films the weekend before mine. So we're taking a bus to New Jersey. Gonna go look at this house that he's renting for his film shoot and kind of just figure out like what other props we need and feel out the vibe. And then while I'm there, I have a safety meeting for my film over Zoom that I have to take, which I'm probably gonna end up having to take that call in the house. And then I'm gonna come back here and then Sophia's gonna come over because she's my production designer and take measurements of the apartment. We're gonna plan for that film. More stuff tonight. A little bit of a crazy day. It's kind of the rough plan, but I am gonna get ready to leave and then go to New Jersey, I guess. On another note though, I had interviews for a bunch of different production companies in New York like two weeks ago. And when I was at Coffee with Ella, I just got offered one of them. It is unpaid, but super exciting. So good start to the weekend. Survived another week. <laughs> Last night I came back and I was just so dead. Every day after school, I've been having such a hard time picking up the vlog camera when I get home because I literally end up just like doom scrolling or doing homework and like showering and so I just forget to pick up the vlog camera which is my bad but last night I did go and buy birthday presents for Bella and Sophia because both of them are having little like birthday dinners drinks this weekend so I had to get their presents Literally the moment that I put down the camera, I went straight to Port Authority and met up with Ali and then the art director. And we all took a bus out to New Jersey, this random town I'd never been to before, but the house was so cute and had so many interesting decorations. So we were honestly there for almost until like 4 p.m., which was a long time, but I got to do my safety meeting. And because the timing was a little bit weird and the bus schedule was just not what any of us expected, I ended up having to reschedule my meeting with Sophia for my PD. But when I got home, I did did a really quick call with her and I'm just gonna have her stop by later instead. Just in my safety meeting, everything's looking good. <laughs> They're working on the shots for the film. But this house is so cute and fun. Like there's a little blue bathroom here and a pink bathroom in the hallway. So cute, we're in a random suburb in New Jersey. Like it's so funny leaving the city.
Later, after all the craziness, I went and got dinner and then Froyo with Kenzie and Heather. Kenzie's boyfriend met up with us and we went to Cafe Reggio. And I finally got to go to bed. So, <laughs> thanks for watching. I'll see you next week. Thank you.